just be out with us to NASA Bahamas. In this video, we are going to tell you how to experience Atlantis Resort without paying the Atlantis prices. If this is your first time to our channel, my name is Irina. And I am Devon. And we are Just, just Be out. out. We create informative travel videos to help you get the most out of your vacation. Atlantis Aqua Adventure is one of the most popular things to do here on the island in NASA and a lot of people from cruise ship ports to just flying in want to come and experience it but the prices are not that cheap staying at the Atlantis Resort currently it had four towers it used to be five towers the beach tower was recently sold to pharrell mm -hmm. and now he's uh, making a music theme hotel so the prices might go up so the cheapest tower currently at the atlantis is the coral tower and the rates at the lowest season starts from 240 us dollars plus 150 us dollars per room mm -hmm. per day the resort fee and in other towers the rates go from 350 400 500 and a night and over a thousand dollars a night so you can see how it can quickly add up but we do have a solution for you so if you're just coming for one day of a cruise ship port you can purchase a day pass at atlantis for 190 us dollars per adult and 95 us dollars for a child the prices keep going up uh, when we were visiting before it was 165 dollars so uh, it's constantly going up so if you're not coming for just one day and just for two adults plus tax the uh, visit will be over four hundred dollars mm -hmm. so you can see how it makes more sense to get a hotel room but we have a money saving tip for you we are currently staying at the comfort suite and it is an amazing deal you can stay here at this hotel at a really good cost not only that it gives you access to the Atlantis Park, which is amazing. So the rates start here from 140 US dollars for up to four people in the room, but you still have to pay resort fee 37 US dollars per person per day. But you're still ahead of the game because technically if you were staying in one of the Atlantis hotels, that cost would be even higher. And right now we are in April, the season is higher, so we are paying $230 per night, plus 21% tax and $37 per day per person, the resort fee. But it does come with free breakfast yes. every day. You get free breakfast and you get a $100 voucher when you're here to use at their restaurant. So you can come here and have lunch and have dinner. Or have drinks or acts absolutely or have drinks so it's already it's a really great value all around especially if you're coming with a family where we know the cost can add up very very quickly so we are saving hundred and ninety dollars for the day pass per day per person we're getting free drinks we're getting free breakfast and we're getting a hundred dollar voucher but the voucher deal might not be available when you come so check their website directly comfort suites paradise island we will leave the link in the description below we're not affiliated with them so it's really up to you to book it or not the hotel is super simple we will take you around uh, just to show you around and the hundred dollar voucher is only valid if you book a three night stay so let us show you around and let us show you just how close this hotel is to the Atlantis. Just, just be, be out, out with us. us. This is the main arrival area. This is where your taxi will come. And if you need a taxi to go back to the airport, they will also uh, provide it for you. Another benefit of staying here at the Comfort Suites is that they do offer a free COVID test to go back to the US or Canada. So this is their lobby area, seating area, and uh, the registration and check-in. The service is pretty slow, but the staff is super nice. They have a bar here right now. It is closed, it is a little bit early. 
And they also have a small uh, marketplace for you yeah. where you can get some um, drinks or necessities if you forgot anything. They have a small business center with a printer if you need to use it. They have a tour desk where you, they can organize some tours for you if Atlantis is just not enough of fun for you. And they do hold your luggage for you right here. They have a luggage room. So on your checkout date, if you um, want to leave your luggage and still use the Atlantis Park, you can. Now let's go and take a quick look at our room. Welcome to Comfort Suites standard room with a king size bed. As soon as you walk in, there is a sink with your standard amenities, a shampoo, conditioner, and right across from it, there is a closet. Uh, there's ironing board, an iron, extra blankets, and extra pillows over here. And here is a shower, bathroom with a shower, bathtub, and toilet. Now you notice they don't provide beach towels for you because you get beach towels at the pool either here or at Atlantis. And now to the main area. This is the this is king size bed. What I noticed here is that the pillows are really short. I'm used to long American pillows, but here it's a different style pillows. What I like about this is that they have USB ports right next to the bed, the clock. Then over here you have your standard amenities as fr a fridge, coffee maker. They actually provide two bottles of water every day for you complimentary. Here you have um, a dresser, the TV. Here is the safe and this is a kind of a, of a living space area. And um, you have your working desk, a couch and um, our receptionist said that this room has the best view and this is the view of their pool. You have um, lots of flowers over there and palm tree and the pool with a swim up bar. As you check in, you get this pink card. This is what will allow you to access Atlantis. Uh, they do have printed wristbands and every day it's a different color. So you would need to go and get your wristband printed every day. So be sure to carry this pink card with you to the Atlantis. And not only that, you can also use this card to purchase food or drinks at their outdoors restaurants. So this way you do not need to carry your credit card with you. Comfort Suites offer different type of rooms. For example, a standard room can accommodate up to four people. But if you're coming with larger families, they also have rooms with the adjacent doors. The rooms are really simple and basic, but the beds we found really comfortable. We slept really well. So this is their um, courtyard area where they have their main restaurant, the bar. This is where they serve breakfast and they also have a pool. Not too many people are using the pool. So it's a lot of uh, lounging chairs that are available and they have a swim up bar here. So uh, most people do go to the Atlantis to use their pool, but if you book comfort suites for just one night, you do not get access to the Atlantis on your first day. If you book more than one night, then you get access to the Atlantis on your check-in date and on your check-out date as well, and everything in between, of course. So uh, the food here for breakfast is really basic. They have uh, the every day the same type of items, grits, scrambled eggs, bacon, sausage, waffles, and cinnamon roll. It tastes 
pretty bland it's very simple and uh, there uh, this is where they serve their brec uh, breakfast lunch and dinner for lunch and dinner they do have everyday special and uh, the food prices is a little bit cheaper than the Atlantis prices and they taste decent as well so take a quick look around the dining area and then we'll show you just how close Atlantis is is not the same as the main entrance to the resort but it is really close so remember this is part five of our five-part Atlantis series where we did the entire walkthrough of the Royal Towers uh, two separate videos for Atlantis grounds and the Atlantis Marina as well and coming up next we also have for you 13 tips on how to experience Atlantis and save money at the same time so this is it we are on the street right straight ahead you can see the pink building which is Atlantis it is literally two minute walk on the right side from the pink building there is the coral tower which is again another tower that belongs to Atlantis and that we mentioned to you earlier in this video and just down the street there is a mini marketplace where we're taking you right now just across the street from Comfort Suites, you will find Paradise Shopping Village. Here you will find Anthony's Restaurant, where it's a casual dining that gets really popular in the evening. Again, the prices are a little bit cheaper than in the Atlantis. For example, they have two for one drinks for the happy hour, $9 appetizers. You, here you will also find uh, some souvenir shops, uh, maybe uh, basic necessities, uh, sunscreens, um, uh, clothing and Dunkin Donuts here you will also find a small liquor store a pharmacy and a small grocery store as well if you would like to experience the Atlantis Resort and Aqua Adventure and save money we highly recommend you to stay at the Comfort Suite if it wasn't for Atlantis it would not be worth it but overall it's a great deal we hope you enjoyed this video and remember to click like if you find it useful and subscribe to our channel because next we have 13 tips for you to experience the atlantis resort just be out with us